In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of stale shear wall connected to the beam only in the abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model includes beam, column, plate, and hinge. As you observe, there is no connection between plate and the column, and plate is only connected to the beams. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the shear wall, and then its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with experimental results. In this picture, the formation of the shear wall under the cyclic loading can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Behavior of Stale Shear Wall Connected to Frame Beams Only. I'll click on Assign section, select Plate, Done, and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Step Module, click on Create Step. Here, select Linear Perturbation, then Buckle, and Continue. I will enter number of uh, eigenvalues, request equal to 4, and actually the number of buckles, modes that are to be calculated is 4. Click on Create Boundary Condition, select Displacement Rotation, and continue. I'll select the bottom of the model. Done, and fix that completely. Seed Part, select the whole of the model done and enter approximate global size equal to 20 millimeters click on mesh part select the whole of the model done in the next step we intend to do the hysteresis analysis of the model i will click on model uh, model menu then copy model and select model one i will name this model hysteresis And OK. First, I'll enter Step Module. Click on Replace. Here, select Dynamic, Implicit, and Continue. First, I'll select Causes, Static. Enter a time period equal to 30, uh, 38 seconds. The analysis will be done in nonlinear form. I will increase the uh, maximum number of increment. Enter initial increment size equal to 0 0.01. And OK. In the next step, I will enter load module. Click on tools menu, amplitude. Continue. Here, select these two columns. Copy and paste them here.
In the next step, uh, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear ball. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on XMI data, select ODB history output, and continue. Here, I select all reaction forces. Click on Save As. Here, I select Sum. And OK. In the next step, I will draw the diagram of displacement. Click on Create XY Data. Select Operate on XY Data and continue. Here, I will select Combine. First, select Displacement and then Total Force and click on Save As. Here, you observe the hysteresis diagram drawn in the Amicus software. As you observe, the diagram obtained from the Abacus software is very similar to the diagram of the article. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here, the diagram drawn with blue color is the diagram having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software.